Did you know that the government has a plan to stage or fake an alien invasion or even the return of Jesus or the appearance of God here on planet Earth? Not only do they have the plan, but they've actually considered putting it into use on several occasions. The Washington Post actually published an article years ago about how the military had considered staging the appearance of God in Iraq during the first Gulf War in order to trick the Iraqis into believing that God had appeared and that he was talking to them, urging them to overthrow Saddam Hussein. They also considered doing the same tactic to overthrow Fidel Castro in Cuba. It's called Project Bluebeam. And through using several holographic devices and the microwave hearing effect, or the radio frequency hearing effect, they were going to beam God's voice into people's heads and make them believe that they were seeing and hearing God himself, who would then urge them to overthrow the dictator. Sound too crazy to be true? There is a patent registered in the United States Patent Office by the United States military for a piece of technology that can beam voices into people's heads. It's called the radio frequency hearing effect. And essentially, the voices or the sounds, the music, whatever they project, would be modulated in your inner ear so people couldn't tell where it was coming from. We have two ears, we have stereophonic uh, hearing, so most people can tell what direction a sound is coming from, but not using the radio frequency hearing effect. So in conjunction with uh, some sort of holographic devices, they were going to use this radio frequency hearing effect to trick the people of Iraq or the people of Cuba. And there's also a plan in the works to use this same technology to stage an alien invasion in order to trick the world's population into following in line with the government's agenda. While giving a speech at the United Nations in the 1980s, President Ronald Reagan suggested that we needed an alien invasion in order to bring in world peace. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? More recently, Paul Krugman of the New York Times has suggested that the government stage an alien attack or an alien invasion in order to spark military spending in the military-industrial complex to pull us out of the recession and to jumpstart the economy. If, if, we, if we discovered that uh, you know, space aliens were planning to attack and we needed a, a massive buildup to counter the, the space alien threat um, and really inflation and budget deficits took secondary uh, place to that, um, this slump would be over in 18 months. And then if we discovered, whoops, we made a mistake. There aren't actually any space aliens. So we need aliens. Orson Welles be a better... what you're saying. No, that's a, that's a, there was a Twilight Zone episode like this in which uh, scientists fake a, uh, an alien threat in order to achieve world peace. Well, this time we don't need it. We need it in order to get some fiscal stimulus. I actually have a, a serious proposal, which is that we have to get a bunch of scientists to tell us that we're facing a threatened alien invasion. And in order to be prepared for that alien invasion, we have to do things like build high-speed rail. And, and, and uh, you know, and, and then... Once we've recovered, we can say, whoops, there were no aliens. But look, I mean, whatever it takes. Back in the 1970s, there was a book published titled The Report from Iron Mountain, which was supposedly or said to have been a classified government document about how the military needed to continue an endless war in order to keep the economy functioning. Many people believe that this document was a hoax. The authors came out and said that it was a satire years later after it had spurred all kinds of controversy and become a bestseller. And in that book, it also suggested that the government stage an alien invasion in order to jumpstart spending for the military-industrial complex.